What's going on, guys? Welcome to another modern cube draft here on uh, Magic the uh, Shadow Realm dot com slash Yu Gi Oh uh, dot net. I, 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 God, I'm a real big fan of blue black all of a sudden. Like, it just has the removal and the card drawing that you really want in this cube. So, I want to take this Jace and I want to take this Polluted Delta. I wonder if we just take this Ulamog. Maybe we take this Ulamog, right? I don't think we've actually played Ulamog yet. I think we might, I think we tried to do it once. You have a sermon in six and a half hours? Karakon, go to bed, buddy. There are people relying on you. It's not even about you, buddy. It's about the people that are relying on this sermon. I am going to take Ulamog and hope the Dark Confidant wheels. Oh, solid strategy there. Also, for those curious, I updated the uh, the subscriber, the donation, and the bit notifications. So those should be a little spicier now. Uh, so the thing about this Ulamog is you want to be green. So this Boros Signet's not where we want to be, but also we could be blue-green. And then Mind Control is where you want to be, I guess, maybe? Mm, maybe? I hope Fertile Ground comes back, actually. That's where we want to be. That's not the correct... That's not the correct... That's not the correct... That's not what was supposed to happen at all. None of those are correct. I don't know what's going on right now. This is terrible. Everything is terrible right now. That is wrong. Okay, so... Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. Hold on. Don't do it anymore. I, don't, I haven't earned this. I haven't earned it. Hold on. Oh, my God. I feel like I just tricked you guys in doing this. I feel terrible now. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm such a scam artist, apparently. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what it's supposed to be. Why? Why isn't it? Why, when you guys did it, was it not that? That's really weird. I'm uncomfortable with that. What in the earth, man? It just did it. It just did it right there for me. I think it's just Terastodon, right? Could be Supreme Will. Supreme Will's probably a little safer. Is it World Eater? I'll I'm, you know what, Connor Ryan? I'm going to listen to you, buddy. I'm going to take it. Take the World Eater. We have a Prismatic Lens. We have a Jade Light Rangario. Why did the bit work for me, but not for you guys? I don't understand. That's so uncomfortable. I just literally watched it happen. What in the heck? Why would it do that? I don't get it. I'm uncomfortable with everything. I think it's Jade Light Ranger. I don't think Prismatic Lens is the one of the better ones. I do like the potential to just draw a bunch of cards with this. Ooh, that's a late Metamorph. I will take this Metamorph. For those on YouTube, sorry about the uh, the delay in those shenanigans, but you guys are probably watching at 1.5 speed anyway. I think Jade Light Ranger is much better than Nest Invader. Why? I don't understand why it did it. I, I don't like it. I'm uncomfortable. It did it again. Like, it's still just doing the bad one. So I'm on, I'm on the I'm on the page. I'm on the website. I think it's just... It's just censored. It's probably just Watery Grave, right? You just saved me, like, three hours a day. There's your, there's your tip for the day, guys. If you aren't watching videos on YouTube, like, long video... Like, long magic videos at, uh, at 1.5 speed... Then, you know, you should be. 
Kyle, thank you so much for the sub. 46 months in a row. That's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, the sub one worked. That's really weird to me. It's all uncomfortable. All right, so the green is drying up. Let's be real. I guess we're just going to take Night Veil Spectre. It's a blue card and a black card. We got a water grave. All right, well, we'll see. I don't know. God, I can't just keep taking Gray Merchant, guys. I'm getting real irritated with these stupid bits. Never mind. Forget the bits. It might take them longer to update. I don't know, man. I'm real upset about it, though. Pack Rat again? Pack rat's very good. Yeah, there's like no green cards whatsoever. So I'm actually pretty comfortable with these these cards so far. I think even if you're not in mono black, Grey Merchant's still pretty good. <laughs> if you have one flight in like eight days, I think you'll be fine. I, I don't think you're... Oh, yeah, I'll take a Phyrexian Arena. This is like a three mana Staff of Nin, guys. Have you guys heard of Staff of Nin? Uh, have you guys heard the good word of Staff of Nin? <laughs> oh, Whip of Erebos. I like that with Pack Rat and Grey Merchant. I, I like Whip of Erebos a lot more than most people, I think. I just got a YouTube comment. I originally found you via Channel Fireball. Now I only watch you and never Channel Fireball. <laughs> well, I, I accept. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Soul Reap is fine. I think Soul Reap is... Uh, I think I underrate that card. I have a stigma toward it because it is... Uh, it's a sorcery, and it says non-green. So I think it it, it strikes me a lot like uh, a card like Death Deathstroke. What's a card? What's a card? Not Deathstroke. Uh, Deathmark. So. So I'm always like, oh, this is a really narrow card. But realistically, it's basically the same as Doomblade, except instead of black, it's green. So, I don't know. I feel like this Profane Command will come back. I think it's either Ruinous Path or Cloud Skate here. What up, Neros? So you guys underestimate how many planeswalkers are in this queue. See the blue. So here's my here's my strategy right now. The blue black decks do not have a lot of creatures. They're not creature heavy decks. So a lot of times you have to use things like Ruinous Path to deal with planeswalkers. Uh, I'm gonna take the Cloudscape because I just think it's the better pick in this particular situation, but. You do want to make sure you have a lot of ways to deal with Planeswalkers because they are problematic. Uh, if they land something like Elspeth, if you don't have a card like Ruinous Path, you are in bad shape. I want Skin Render. I want Staff of Nan. I also want Drowned Catacomb. I don't think it's El Depo Fiendo just because of the same thing I just mentioned with not having a lot of... Uh, a lot having a lot of creatures. Calvin95376. No, no way, man. You go ahead and... This is, I think that's actually super reasonable because you can still understand everything that's going on in the background. I think it's just around Catacomb here. Yeah, Nin isn't as exciting because we do have Phyrexian Arena. Um, and we can probably get more skin render effects, so I'm pretty much just going to capitalize. Oh, this is a good skin render effect. Hostage Taker is also a good way for black and blue to deal with artifacts, which is pretty sweet. The blue is dried up as much as the green. Um, I mean, it's only been two picks, and we had Lurfwin Cloudskate last first pick and got this guy, so I think we're doing just fine. 
Solemn Simulacrum or Hypnotic Spectol? And there's a Crater Hoof. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Taker is gassy like hot farts. You are not wrong. Uh, you can go here, realistically. I think it might just be Psalm Simulacrum. I think Despise is underrated. Oh my god, Mono Red. Oh god, Tom, why? I think Solemn Simulacrum. I think I think uh, what's it what's its name can come back. If not, Expector might even come back. But oh, we get a Shieldred or a Massacre Worm. It's probably Massacre Worm. I love Shieldred, but I think Massacre Worm is actually uh, game winning. There are matches where you just play Massacre Worm and your opponents are just like, "Well, I died," and you're just like, "That's correct." Tragic Slip. What's our removal like? Soul Reap. We have Hostage Taker, and that's pretty much it. It might just be Tragic Slip here. I actually like Tragic Slip. Ultimate Price. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Old Slimy. Hmm, red Cap. I'll take Red Cap. And then there's a pro Profane Command and Ruinous Path came back. Oh, how does one choose? I think it's I think it's Ruinous Path. But boy, do I like I like a Profane Command a lot. I think Profane Command is very, very good. I don't know if we're playing Ulamog, unfortunately. Although, if we do get him in the graveyard, we can whip him back. That is worth noting. We can discard him to Pack Rat and then whip it back. That is, a, uh, that is an ambitious line right there. I'm sorry I tricked you guys into donating bits and cheers and whatnot, but... I thought it was going to work. I don't know why I didn't. I think it might just need more time. Sometimes when you set so like you change a setting, it takes a while for it to go into effect. The subscriber one went through fine. See? Still it's so disappointing. See, and I'll, I'll test it again so I can show you guys what's supposed to happen. This is what's supposed to happen. It's just a Michael Scott. It's just a cool Michael Scott, but it doesn't want to be a cool Michael Scott. It just wants to be a, a weird triangle. I don't know. Look, the Staff of Nin came back. These people don't deserve Staff of Nin. I think it's Skin Render. It might be Inquisition, though. I'm going to take Inquisition. We already have, like, Hostage Digger and Murderous Redcap. Ooh, Vampire Hexmage is also a fine answer to Planeswalkers. Hypnotic Spectre comes back. Sweet. Our deck is looking great again, and it's also... Come on, really? Okay, sure. <laughs> every card. Oh, God. They just want us to be mono black every draft, dude. Skin Render is great with Whip, obviously, but I mean, like, so is Murderous Redcap, so is Hotch's Taker, so is Gary, so is Vampire Hex Mage if they have a Planeswalker, so is uh, Hypnotic Spectre if we can get a hit in. Like, there's a lot of cards. So is Gary himself, so is Silumgar if, uh, I don't know, maybe. So is Massacre. All these cards are good with, with Whip. I never want to risk Persecutor, I'll be honest with you guys. I just never want to be in a situation in this cube, in a cube especially, where you have to kill your persecutor before you die. Well, that's an easy pick. How many bits does it take to get a haircut? I pay about 30 bucks for my haircut. So that would be what? 3,000 bits? <laughs> It's a ridiculous amount. Mole Drifter is also good, if you guys didn't know, with Whip of Erebos. Whip of Erebos. I actually just get a haircut. I actually uh, shave my... I shave myself. I don't actually shave as much as I should. I also like Sword of Fire and Ice, but we're not... We, yeah, but... Nah, I don't know. 
what TV shows are you watching these days? All right, let me look at my list. I actually have a folder where I put all my TV shows that I watch. Uh, I currently watch Atlanta. I watch Better Call Saul. Uh, comic Book Men. I enjoy Comic Book Men. Game of Thrones, when it's on. I'm going to highlight this Mole Drifter just to make sure. Uh, Last Week Tonight, I always watch. Uh, I enjoy Real Time with Bill Maher on Fridays. Uh, Silicon Valley. Suits. The Americans. I think The Americans is pretty underrated. Uh, I think The Americans is actually extremely underrated. I think it's one of the best shows people are not watching right now. Um, The Walking Dead and Westworld. And those don't include Netflix shows. Those are just shows that I have to find on the internet. If you know what I mean. Do we just take this? This seems great. We have, how much card? We have a lot of card advantage though. We have Muldrifter, Frexian Arena. I guess that might be it. I want this Underground River, but it might actually come back. Uh, I have not watched Billions, and I used to. I watched Homeland up until the season where it completely changed. Uh, without giving you anything away, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. find on the internet you know what i'm saying i feel like it's underground river over this idiot it's probably this idiot though uh also one of my other guilty pleasures is the curse of oak island just so you guys i have no theories um as far as walking dead just because I, I don't know. There's too many possible things that it could be, so it's it's not even worth me like having a theory. Ozarks is very good, but also like I, like I said, I wasn't I wasn't um, referring to Netflix shows. This pack is great. We have Warm Coil Engine or Heroes Downfall. I would take Tragic Slip out for Heroes Downfall. I would actually play Warm Coil in the main and Mask Worm in the side. I think that's actually pretty good. Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, boy. God, do we do it again? No. It's got to be Creeping Tar Pit here, right? I mean, we have enough Venser-like effects. I'd rather just have the the best of the dual lands that we can get. Now, now YouTube can not be upset with me for not taking enough fixing. Yeah, you guys love mentioning Altered Carbon. Hmm. Victim of Night and Phantasmal Image. Interesting. We have a metamorph already. I actually don't know if we need two of these effects. Like, there's a lot of times where I have cards like um, Vizier of Many Faces and uh, Frixie Metamorph, and I just don't have a target for them because this cube is very Planeswalker centric. So I almost kind of want Victim of Night a little bit better. We do have a Watery Grave, so this is actually not bad. Actually, I like Rune Snag, though. Rune Snag is surprisingly good sometimes. This card was great. This was a great way to deal with Planeswalkers. Essence Scatter. I will 100% get played. All right, now we got to make some cuts here. I'm going to take Inquisition out. We can board that in if they have something really problematic. I don't think I want double seven drops. We can board Shieldred in. Probably take out Murderous Redcap for now. And this leaves us with one more slot. Uh, we have a bunch of playable cards, though. Tragic Slip, Shieldred, Mask Worm, Persecutor, Murderous Redcap. All of these could potentially go in the deck, so. Hmm. Well, Vizier of Many Faces came back, so. I think that card's just great. Like, being able to copy a... Like I said, there are times when you don't have a, a target for it, but when you do, it's usually something good. And you, it, it, it's, a, it's, the, it's the clone so nice you get to play it twice, you know? Also, apologies in advance for the uh, the YouTube videos where this is just a, another blue-black deck. Wow. 
That is a late sword. I would probably cut rune snag for the sword. Or cut soul reap. Actually, I like rune snag better, and we do have essence scatter already, so. No, we did not get the underground river back. Got a celestial colonnade. I'll just take Liliana. That is a late celestial colonnade. Crypt gas came back, ladies and gentlemen. It's comical because if we land a crypt gas on crypt gas on turn four with four swamps, um, then on turn five we could potentially cast Ulamog with five swamps. We could also just be mono black. Let's see what the mono black deck looks like. I don't think we're going to do it because our blue is very very good, and uh, some of our primary sources of card advantage. But I do want to take a look at it and see how it looks. So. Yeah, that is an insanely late jealous, zealous, jealous, <laughs> zealous conscripts. What are you so jealous about? Okay, um, let's take a look and see what it would look like. Cryptcast, Tragic Slip, Inquisition, you, Red Cap, you're going here, probably Persecutor at this point, you, and you, and maybe you, ah, we can pro I'd probably play Liliana over that. This is what the mono black version looks like. Oh, man. This is actually even pretty good by itself. I would like to save this deck. I don't think we're playing this version. All right, so what are we taking out? Soul Reap, Tragic Slip Inquisition, Liliana, Red Cap, Persecutor, Crypt Gas, Massacre, Shield Red. And then bring in all the blue, get the blue cards. This is 21, Hostage Taker. And one more, was it Rune Snag? I think it was Rune Snag. Can you show us the Simic version as well? Oh my god. You know, I can. I can do that. We'll do it one more time. All right. Simic's really easy to do. I'm taking out cards that are actually Simic. That's unfortunate. This guy comes in. You come in. You're in, you're in, you're in. Yeah, that's pretty much the Simic version, right? Yeah, this is your standard Simic version. Curve is pretty good, though. Probably want two more of these guys. Yeah, this deck looked great. What are the odds of us getting uh, mana screwed? Pretty low, I think, right? I guess you could probably play this guy considering you have so many so many islands. Huh. Okay. Well, we're probably going to be playing... Yeah, save it. Sure. Why is this one above these? <laughs> oh, because it's legal and these aren't. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Six and eight? I think that's actually fine. We have double black, double black, double black, double black, double black, double black, double black. Literally every black card except for Pack Rat is double black. That's pretty ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is nine versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine to eleven. Seems fine. 
I don't like the odds of hitting Ancestral on turn one, but I guess on turn two it's still fine. Sure. Pack right is basically double black. You don't want to play it till turn five, so well I guess I think in cube it's actually safe to play it on turn two. That is aggressive. Packrat is B and two colorless. Fashionable late to the party. Creeping tar pit. Insta kill? No? All right. I always get the elevator music stuck in my head from the from the intro screen. Huh. Sure. Huh. Isn't that cute? I think I just take two here. This doesn't seem like a good trade. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, no attacks. All right. I'm down. I would like a non... Uh, let's not do the 7-3 again. That's that's not fun. Let's let's get more than uh, three spells. How about that, Magic Online? Connor Ryan, where are you right now if you're not in the U.S.? Are you in Canada? Are you in the Great White North? Oh, yeah, so that's basically... Yeah, it's basically Canada. Oof. It's getting aggressive here. j -Dub, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. If you guys have uh, Twitch Prime and you guys want to slam those that Twitch Prime subscribe button up there to support the stream... Don't let me stop you. In fact, I encourage it. Am I doing something wrong? Like, is it... Am I just playing Magic incorrectly? Alright, so the subscriber one works very well. The bit one does not work at all, apparently, for some reason. Which is sad, because uh, it should. Here we go. Something good. Oof. Oof. Gross. I'm never gonna dance again. Now I'm probably just gonna block because otherwise I take three, four, I take ten. God, who's Grey Merchant here? That seems bad, right? They have two cards though. I'm actually going to ruin his path, this guy. See, the problem is they can whip back the Ruthless Ripper and then Soul Bond them and then attack for another 10. And then we're just forced to jump block this guy with Grey Merchant, which seems pretty bad. 
So I'd rather just get them off the board. And I hope you play something good that I can steal, and then I hope you also have no answer for Dragon Lord Solengar. I have lots of hopes, but uh, let's see if any of them come to fruition. You have two cards, two cards. Okay, that's a lot of things, I guess. Wow. All right. I guess you already have the answer to Dragon Lord Sulmgar in your hand. How nice. Whew. Doing well. Doing well. Do you just bounce the whip to put them back a turn? Or do you bounce one of the spirits? We're at 10. I don't care if it costs them mana. Or, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's like they have to. I leaned back and my headphones fell off. <laughs> oh, boy. That's actually a great draw, considering we can't really uh, deal with it. And they have the perfect number of creatures, too. God, we take five here? That's not fun, but Grey Merchant is pretty fair, I guess. Okay, the block of dude at least. Oh, he took seven instead, not five. That's pretty. That's pretty better. Three, three, four, five. Oh my god! Fashionably late to the party. Block, block. They flip you. Erdathor, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. One, two, th one, two, three, four. We can actually. Yeah. All right. What's my Discord channel name? I don't think it has a name, right? I don't. I have no idea what it's. I don't know if that's a thing. If you just connect your accounts, it's just called Frank's Twitch Subs. Are we dead? No, we block two. We take two. All right, they have nothing but lands here. Nothing but lands. So we go to two. Oh, I'm gaining indestructible. All right. I'm all gain indestructible. I'm bring back my ruthless ripper. Sure. Well, he's indestructible. We still have to block him, which is unfortunate. But Gary should gain us a five life next turn. This is not modern. This is modern cube. So it has modern in the name. God, why is Gideon a plus two, not a plus one? That's pretty annoying. Oh, you didn't. Oh, accidents were made. Mistakes were made. 
This is where we come back, I guess. Whew. No, sir. No, sir. Why not activate Tar Pit? Because we, the only creatures they had are a Death Touch creature and a Flying creature that weren't blocked. So I don't want to block either of those. Neither of those seem fun to me. This is okay because they don't have a way to... Uh, They don't, have to, they don't have to flip Gideon here. At least as far as I can as far as I can think. And we're definitely blocking with Grey Merchant. For obvious reasons. Okay, seems good. Seems good. Ideally, we're going to hit like a Soren off of this, this Night Veil Spectre next turn, so. Tragic Slip. Uh, oh, Fatal Push. Sure. Sigh. I guess we're not hitting that after all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. We have enough mana to cast Ulamog right now. Six spells, eight, ten lands. That's pretty good. Spoiler alert, it is not good. Neither is a Brimaz. That is a great top deck. Can we hit a, a card that's not a land that's actually good for us right now? Like, like a Karn. Let's say a Karn. Let's do a Karn one time. I accept. Oh, we can also take your whip. That's interesting. I think I want your whip. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Alpstrom, remember you said uh, we need we need to hit a whip. Nailed it. Your whip has become my whip. <laughs> so we attack for two here, but they gain. We're just gonna pass. That's a good that's a good one. That's a good card. I do not rec recommend attacks here. <gasps> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the perfect amount of lands to spells. Whip back Silumgar doesn't do much here. Um, I'd rather just whip back like Night Veil Spectre and try to hit something, see what we hit. I mean, I guess we're not going to hit anything because they have uh, all of these guys going to the graveyard. All these guys going to the graveyard are very good. Yeah, Worm Coil gains 12 because it gets two lifelinks. I actually, I remember, I, I don't know if you guys were here, but on the stream I asked, like, I'm like, oh, shouldn't this guy have double lifelink because of the whip? And someone in the in the YouTube comments was like, uh, actually, it doesn't do that because the lifelink doesn't. And I was like, dude, I top aided a Pro Tour once. Like, I know, I know, I was just making a joke. It's just funny.
that, that was the turn we should have actually attacked with Tar Pit. I didn't even think about it. But now they're going to bounce our flyer and pump their team and kill us, so... Yeah, it's actually hidden. It says Legendary Enchantment Artifact. They're very weird creatures. They're very weird cards. They're a little bit of everything. All right, now we're just going to turn the corner, as they say. <laughs> Should have done this last turn. But I would like to gain nine life here, so. Man, giving me this whip. Ooh, that was super nice. Tell us an embarrassing story from your childhood. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Unfortunately, this does exile the warm coil engine if it happens to die. So we don't actually get six worms we only get two i wish we had a way to sacrifice things but even so it says if it would be it would, if it would leave the battlefield exile instead so it's a replacement effect so that's never gonna happen diva would be proud of me is it because i'm a mongoloid mongoloid he was a mongoloid he was a man and he brought home the bacon Dale Ellington III with the four months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I like that our creatures are so good that we don't really even have to uh, get them. Like, they're not, not so good, but they just don't do anything at the moment. So it's like, meh. Oh, that's actually pretty good against, uh, against Whip of Erebos, unfortunately. Bring home the bacon. Lifelink? Lifelink and Death Why can't you be more like your dark brother? He has got Lifelink and Death Touch. He's going to all the finest schools, you know. Did you did you know he got he got accepted to New Phyrexia University? Did you know that? No, I bet you didn't. It's because you're always on the internet. No, we don't get double worm babies. I just went over this. Uh, I avoided the embarrassing story question only because I can't think of one off the top of my head. I'm trying to win this game, and it's very hard to be like, oh, I know the exact embarrassing story that I was uh, that that I want to tell you guys live on stream. Uh, spoiler: I don't know, but you know. I feel like our life our life system is getting is getting good now. <laughs> our life system. <laughs> Brought home the bacon. Uh donations. Nope. Subscriptions. Let's go up to I raised the volume on the subscriber GIF, so I'm just trying to get these these settings right, man. Well, that's a good card. <laughs> I'll copy any one of these. <laughs> They're all very good. Now, this is a game... I don't think that's true. I think they're being sarcastic here. Which is unfortunate, because I'm not... I don't mean to... We're back at 20 life. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we can finally attack with floats now, right? Pew, pew, pew. We can also whip Dragonlord Silumgar and copy Dragonlord Silumgar. That seems pretty good, too. 
I think we're good for now. Oh, Bitter Blossom. A bold strategy, Cotton. We could hostage take her and then steal something else. I like that. Brought home the bacon. Now I have Devo stuck in my head. Thank you, guys. Oh, well, <laughs> you know. Good lord. Brought home the bacon. Burp, burp. Mongoloid was a mongoloid. Let's just do one of these jobbies. Ugh. Butter Blossom! I do like whipping back the Night Vale Spectre and copy on the Grey Merchant. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty good. Are they just dead here? I mean, they are. <laughs> Brought home the bacon. 51 to negative six. We, went, we were at one life. <laughs> Whip of Erebos is a hell of a card. I'm going to bring an Inquisition. I feel like it should just be in the deck. It's probably dumb on my part that it's not. That 40 life Manta Baby. What does that even mean? Hey, it's my little Manta Baby. Murderous Redcap actually might be very good here. Vampire Hex Mage did not seem to be that great. And we can bring in Murderous Red Capo. And we can bring in Mascarum because, boy, do they have a thing. It's probably better than Silumgar. I would say yes. Insert stop, he's already dead. Stop! Stop! He's already Hungry. Dead. <laughs> oh, now I have to make the font smaller. All right, so I'm testing out these. These these donation. Hungry Howie's bot said, Good evening, Frank. What's your favorite flavored crust flavor? Enjoy it on a small two topping pizza on us. Have a hungry Howie's evening. Wow. 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 Alright, font settings. Let's go to 60 point. It is at 80 point. I just want to make sure they fit. Black. Black, 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 number one. Hungry Howie Spot, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. You are uh, you're the pizza bot we all need, but not the one we deserve right now. This is actually, this hand is friggin' phenomenal. This is a this is a hand where you're like I guess we'll just go to round two. All right, so no brimaz, that's good. Lingering souls? Oh, no lingering souls either. All right. Probably just playing this guy instead, because now 
we make you discard. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some kind of some kind of ghost. Some kind of ghosty. Getting an ally of Zendikar. Oh, a banishing light. Did they overpay for that? Yes, because we're going to thought seize you. They were not going to thought seize me. Well, you know what they say. One good cap deserves another. Am I right? No one says that. Some kind of spook chicken. That sounds accurate. Give me one more land so I can uh, mold drifter here. Which will, which will undoubtedly get me two more lands. Vampire butthawk. This guy's coming down, right? Brought home the bacon. Yeah, I might as well attack first. Oh, I'm gonna kill something. Something's gonna die. Oh, interesting. Lucifer, what's going on, buddy? All right. At least one's going to be a land. I know that. Neither were land. Oh. Scary. What's a root bear? That sounds like a, that's like a bear that's made of root beer. Because I don't know if that's possible. That sounds like a, a miracle of modern science. Bring home the bacon. God, all he does is sing Devo songs, and then his his money his video all his videos got demonetized because he sounds so. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, I see. You're you're not you're not being very nice right now. Hmm. Well. I guess we'll just get in there for five alive. Five arena. They did not have a sixth land, though, so... We're just going to play Solemn Simulacrum if they want to actually spend another turn playing their sixth land and not playing Tetsamok and killing this guy, too. That's totally fine. Because we have double six drops that are pretty good. Axel, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. We do have Worm Coil into Worm Coil into Worm Coil again, maybe. Nope, they are satisfied with three for one, which is not really three for one because this drew me two, this bounced the thing, and that killed a Kithian. So this is more like a I don't even have I don't have the kind of degree necessary to do that kind of math, unfortunately. Bring home the bacon. One thing we can do is just play Night Veil Spectre and Ruinous Path, this guy. But this guy doesn't really scare us that much. He's just a ground idiot, right? Yeah, this is our Worm Tribal deck. It's pretty good. Okay, I can get behind that. That's a good one. Oh, does it regenerate? It doesn't have regenerate. Why do you think this guy has regenerate? It just has detouch. You got detouch.
What are you always typing midstream? Just typing. I don't know. Different stuff. Sometimes I'm looking at websites. Sometimes I'm responding to things. I got lots of things I'm typing. Sometimes it's part of my memoir. Is that a problem? That's a good trade. I like it. We're not going to run Pack right out there because if they're willing to throw away their Tetsamok, they might have like Wrath of God or Day of Judgment. And our board is just fine right now. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Nighthawk. I'm actually tempted to Ruinous Path the Nighthawk. That is actually one of the most problematic creatures on the board because of the detach. Sure. What, take seven here? That's aggressive. Yeah, when people ask me, they're like, do you hate Gutshot now? I'm like, no, that was a great moment. That whole event was great. I don't, I don't care even a little bit about a gut shot. I mean, they block here, right? Which I actually think is fine because they don't have a Nighthawk anymore. And we're gaining nine life, so that's pretty good. Oh boy. Did I just get to kill all your guys? That's pretty good. Yep. Give me them worms. God, so many worms, dude. Still not going to play Night Vale Spectre here. Because they might have just... That's what, that's what they might have wanted. They have one card. We don't know what it is. I feel like we're ahead here. Does that make sense? I feel like feel like that to you guys. I feel like we got a look at all my worms. If it's a land, we can probably just re oh boy, Whew. ain't that a thing? Ain't that special? I think I tap five. I tap the exact mana cost of the uh, of the card I'm whipping back. That's funny to me. What up, Dusty Sex? I was going to say, if it's a land, we could actually awaken, kill something, and then attack with the land as well. But if it's not, if it's just something something trivial like a Karn. <laughs> I feel like that went well. He could have had Mind Shatter, sure. I think the odds are higher that they have either Day of Judgment, Wrath of God, uh, Black Sun Zenith, or Damnation than Mind Shatter. I think Worms and Worms, U and, and O are different species. So... Touch Boy Tom? Don't touch Boy Tom. That is not okay. Mitchell, don't, don't, don't recommend that people touch Boy Tom. That's not... This is not that kind of stream, buddy. Keep it together.
here we go this is more this is more like it this is back to the old this is back to the old the old magic shuffler ways all right that's pretty good eh, put you on the bottom we don't need you right now plus we got four cards before we need to land first turn second turn third turn and fourth turn oh oh you and you all right i'm digging it I don't know how to spell touche. Well, you just spelled it, so you proved yourself wrong, buddy. These lands are OP. Boink. Man, two blue, black, two black, white decks in a row? <laughs> That's awesome. Recon Bravo team, what's going on, buddy? Uh, we don't have any Planeswalkers, unfortunately, but... Oh, man. An island? That's not what we want to see. I liked it better when counterspells were not in part of the equation. <gasps> Five alive! Oh. Oh, what? Really? 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 Interesting. Who's your favorite comic book artist? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I, I don't, um, oh, it's probably either Mike Diodato or David Finch. Those are my, those are my, some of my tops. I'm also a really big Jay Lee fan. And I'm also a big fan of, uh, Del Otto's covers because they're insane. They're, he's been doing a ton of covers recently and they've all been ridiculous. So. I think those would be, and so the, I I can't say if those are my favorite ever, but off the top of my head, those are the things I thought of. So I feel like those are the most natural responses you're gonna get. Really, that's sad. Oh, we can actually steal that and just negative to it and be done with it. Be done with the whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Am I ready for Infinity War in a few weeks? Boy, am I. Uh, I. There's nothing I'm worried about the movie screwing up, and that's because I have utter faith in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't think there's actually anything you can screw up because I have no... Um, what did they take? Spellqueller and Jace, sure. Uh, I have no... Res I have no uh, I'm under no assumption that they're going to keep it exactly like the movie. Or keep it exactly like the book, rather. So... I'm just going to watch it and enjoy it. And whatever story they tell me, regardless of how similar it is to the Infinity Gauntlet or not, um, that's fine. Am I going to Megacon in Orlando? I don't have plans to do so right now, but I could probably... Oh my God, that was a good draw. I could probably see myself doing that. I think it would be hilarious if if we found out Deadpool was actually in the movie. Don't have path. You have to be joking. Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Comical. Comical. That was amazing. That was incredible. Wow. How is this real life? This is incredible, man.
Okay, so Deadpool and Thanos have beef in the comics. D Thanos and everyone have beef in the comics, to be fair. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd take. Easy go, little high, little low. Yeesh. You one hundred percent take Rev. Yep. <laughs> oh, not a chance. Yeah, we're definitely not equipping sword. That would be comical. Oh, I can't believe they had the path to exile, the literal one white. I wonder if we should have bounced the planes. That would have been cool. I wanted to keep them off black, or at least double black, so that they don't have two black sources in play, but. Well, got my guy back. So we know you have Jace. All right, so you have f four Jaces. You have Jace Architect, Jace Mind Sculptor, Jace Prince Prodigy, and Jace Bellerin. That is amazing. I'm amazed. This is a lot of Jaces. In your hand is Revelation Spell Queller. Mm -hmm. My time has come. Gonna bounce Jace to your hand. I'm a little upset about Deadpool 2 changing the iconic character like Domino to try and play. It's. Who cares? <laughs> It's not about being politically correct. I mean, like... Just enjoy it, man. Just listen to the story. If you think... give Oh, I don't want to get into this conversation again. I really don't. I'm not going to. Oh my god, that was a good draw. I could, probably I could probably see myself doing that. <laughs> yeah, the trailer for Deadpool 2 is great. And again, like one of the best things about Dead the Deadpool series is that they just don't take themselves very seriously at all, which is amazing. Because it works so well for them. Oh, what up, Jace again? So you have... Sp Bell Queller and Sphinx's Revelation. Good to know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody. That's pretty good. Tack your face. Are you going to bounce my guy? <laughs> I will pay one.
Yes. Mama. Ooh. So I can kill the Jace, or I can just, I can kill both Jaces. Uh, do we play Atlanta's turn? This is actually amazing. Um, put Night Vale and Karn back. Cool. So we know you have Spell Queller and Sphinx's Revelation. We have dealt with three of the four Jaces, and actually we've dealt with all of them, I guess. One of them we put on the bottom with this Jace activation. Yep, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hostage take her that eventually. Actually, we have Karn on the top. <laughs> I guess you can draw your cards. Oh, nope, not that. This feels good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a liking this game. This game has been a spicy meatball. You see, and anyone who's like Crystal Shard is so good, I'm just like, nah, I don't care about it. it just does nothing. What do you get? What do you get out of here? Path? That's pretty good. Path is pretty good. Unfortunately, very good. You get your Jace back. We get another land though. That's pretty good. black here yeah it seems fine yep you got it what are they at six yeah you can bounce your own guys back but here's my experience in this format it doesn't matter like you never have enough mana to recast your own guys right like if you're spending your turn bouncing a gear hulk and then recasting it for six you're falling behind anyway <laughs> carry on, carry on. I will steal your crystal shard. No, actually, maybe not. Let's see if you want to bounce this guy. You have no, you have a Supreme Will and a Disfigure in your graveyard, so that's fine. They go to five if they don't. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Do, do, do. Unless, return this to its owner's hand, unless we pay one. Oh. Yes. Interesting. I thought you'd return your own Torrential Gear Hulk.
I think we just Vizier this, take the Crystal Shard, leave them with Spell Thing. I just want to make sure I have a guy to... Uh... We can't cast it, I guess. We're one shy of casting it. We can put Sword of Fire and Ice on... Or a watery grave, huh? No, let's pay the correct mana to do it. No, let's pay the correct mana to do it. So they kill this, they bounce this, right? They get it back. So I'd rather you kill this guy. Because then you can bounce both. So I'd rather you just bounce Hostage Taker and get your Torrential Gear Hulk back, but then you lose your Jace. So I think that's a fair trade. This game has been good because there's a lot of a lot of decisions to be made here. It was tempting to just get rid of this Jace when we could. Maybe actually bouncing the uh, Dragon Lord Silumgar at some point would have been good. But I don't know. That's the thing about magic. There's a lot of decisions to make, you know? Oh, interesting. All right, so you get either a Supreme Will or a Disfigure. Disfigure doesn't seem to do much. Supreme Will just finds you something. Yep. Is this better than just searching with Jace by himself? Like, you look at four with a Supreme Will. You look at three with Jace, so. But then on one in one situation, you get a Jace. And this is a four or five with pro blue and pro red. There is a ton of black removal, so that's a thing. But we also have a Karn on board. There's a lot of things going on right now. It's basically what I'm trying to get at, guys. Oh, sure. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. We we're at 25, though, and they don't have any... Uh, they have Spell Queller, let's not forget about that. But they could play Spell Queller, take our Counter Hostage Taker, we can exile the Spell Queller, take Torrential Gear Hulk. So this is all things we can, these are all things we can do. We can also Vizier to get back Victim of Night to kill this guy. Yep. Got Karn on deck. Seems good. Huh. Let's get this.
You got it. So five, six, seven, eight. We can't cast again. We can't cast it and play like something like Worm Coil. And they're gonna they're gonna just recast it and play Devour Flesh. So I kind of just want to play Worm Coil here. Like we know they have Rev, Gear Hulk, and infinite other cards in hand. Cool. Yeah, that seems good. I like that. Going to four here. A bold strategy, Cotton. Did they Sphinx's rev for six? <laughs> Go to ten. Hero's Downfall on Karn. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We cannot bounce that, right? Target creature, sure, you got it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Nope. That seems absolutely fantastic. Let's try it again. <laughs> seems good. All right. One, two, four, five, six. Air move. Oh, yeah, I mean, we used Shard literally once to favor. Like, meanwhile, he was paying a million mana to just bounce my guys. I don't think Shard... I still am not sh sold on Shard based on this one interaction. And that'll do. All right. Definitely bringing Inquisition here. Um, Mind Shatter also seems pretty good against, like, the control deck. I don't think we need Whip here, but... Could be decent. Yeah, the problem is I played it twice and it was never that great. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, maybe this is just a different difference of opinions. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think we can cut either Metamorph or Vizier. We didn't see... We saw a shard, I guess. Oh my god, I can actually see bringing Willamog in. That game got way too complicated for me. I probably just punted a ton. There was a lot going on. No joke. Um... You think I got Whip. Take out Grey Merchant. These are good creatures, but I don't think they're great in the control matchup. And I think we do bring in either Shoulder or Ulamog. They're just very good at uh, doing things that we want to be done. 
Also, I don't want to bring these in because they do have um, bribery, which is a little scary. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine like this, I think. This hand seems good. I'll keep it. Jace Vryn's Prodigy and Consecrated Sphinx, Jace Teferi. Wow. They might have been relying on that guy pretty heavily with only one other land in hand. And uh, six drop, six drop, five drop, four drop. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Getting lucky. What do we got here? This figure? So what do they play next turn? Jace the Mind Sculptor? Oh, that's pretty good. I like Arena here. Like we can play this next turn and just be be just as uh, aggressive. I don't have Arena. Hex Mage being down that turn versus the next turn doesn't do anything except for uh, take up two more mana. Although they might just look for lands here. Yep, that's what I figured. All right, that's actually pretty good. When watching videos, I find that you tend to pass Wrath Effects over some of your cards. I don't really have any examples. Is there any reason you don't value the Wrath Effects higher? Um, the reason, I, I agree with you, Wrath Effects are harder to replicate. Um, the reason I don't take them that highly is because this is not, this cube in particular has not been one I've found where uh, decks go wide a lot. I think the most creatures you usually see on a board are two or three. And a lot of decks, like my opponent's deck right now, I I don't really care if I have a Wrath Effect. I'd rather just have other cards. And uh, you might think they're mediocre cards, but I might actually think they're better than the Wrath Effects, which I seem I, I presumably do. Um, no land. I see. Well then. Well, we're not copying Signet here because we just need to actually kill this. There are definitely cubes um, where Wrath Effects, I do value them a lot higher. Uh, this one in particular is more of a mid rangey cube. So we know these these are three of their cards in hand, so. Oh, Teferi, I see. <laughs> Pretty impressive, buddy. We have drawn 15 cards and three lands. Our opponent has hit mm, pretty perfectly. I'm just trying to hit one of their lands as well, so I can just play it. <sighs> Not today. I mean, they're just going to play Teferi here. Wow, this is amazing. 
we inquisition them they have literally two lands total and four drop five drop six drop six drop in hand they have managed to hit plenty of lands three essentially three land land drops and also the phyrexian arena have hit none so that's a thing Don't hit a land. Don't hit your six land. Don't you dare hit that six land. I will. I will rage, buddy. I mean, we ate their Karn. They have Karn, which is pretty scary by itself, but. I don't think we're going to keep either creature, just to be clear. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> What a time to be alive. Did we just copy Jace? Or not Jace, uh, Teferi? Big Tefs? You could also just hostage take or steal it. Also, yeah, I think we're just saving. Uh... No land. Oh, God. Every time. Cannot play Sphinx's Revelation fast enough. This guy's upkeep. So there's there's a potential I can still draw, like, a Victim of Night here during my upkeep. Oh, you're going to Torrential Gear Hulk. I see. Well, that's actually fine. Not great, but fine. Hmm. Victim of Night? Karn. Watery Grave. Do we need five mana or do we just need three? Five, six, seven. I kind of like just making them discard their last three cards. Nice. Fantastic. All right, well, now we take five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go to eight, but we can just play like Dragonlord Silumgar and assume they don't have an answer because they're in top deck mode, which means they probably drew Snapcaster Mage Inquis No, Cycle Land. Okay, sure. All right, well. Hey, I found those lands we were looking for. Yeah, we're actually going to do it the other way instead. Um, I don't think this actually works, though, unfortunately. Yep, that was stupid. That was terrible sequencing on my part. I apologize. I totally forgot about the Teferi ability. <laughs> that was pretty bad. We just gave them a free Teferi. Yep, that's actually what we're trying to hit. I was actually going to I was gonna play Inquisition and uh, see what they had in hand. Because if they drew, like, Spell Queller, I don't want them to copy it. Then I'll put a counter our Vizier because then we're just dead. Um, so I was trying to play around that. 
And I forgot that I would never be able to do that. But I think we're still okay. They have one card in hand. Yeah, okay. Seems good. Yeah, I think we're fine here. They're at three? Where'd their life total go? Oh, good games. What did they... Where did they take a million damage from? Was it just like Infinite City of Brass hits? Like, we, we dealt them five. I think we dealt them six with Night Veil Spectre because there were three, three cards underneath. So that's six, that's 11. That was 11. Did they just deal themselves, like, eight damage between their two lands? Either way, we're 4-0. That's pretty good. Our deck is pretty good. Yeah, their, night, their, their lands, their underground seawatery grave, and their, uh, their city of brass dealt them more damage than... Uh, than either of those creatures that I attacked with. So, what are you gonna do, I guess? Magic's a hard game. And if you guys wanna follow or subscribe, feel free to do that. Both those things help support the channel and uh, you get to hang out with me all the time. This is a good hand, I will keep it. And I stream Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so. Uh, Rudcap, where, I don't know, where is your friend at? Everyone always asks me that. I got on good. <laughs> I'm not his dad. Has this been three, no, two blue decks. If they play, if they play Swamp though, I'm going to be like, okay, cool. Three, three black decks in a row. Don't do it. Two. Two islands, huh? I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. Let's hope. I mean, you're just going to have a rune snag for this. They always do. You're not going to sit there and two mana and not do anything. Rune snag, negate. Negate's fine. Because I know that no matter what point I played that, you could have countered it. So, that's fine. I see. Good to know. That's a card. I'm actually going to Mull Drifter here just so we can try to hit some lands next turn. I really don't want to be missing lands at this point, so. Oh, they did hit a black. Wow, that was amazing. So, three black decks in a row. Two of them were blue. And uh, you hit a Vampire Hex Mage. So, you hit two of my... Uh, two of X uh, Planeswalker removal cards. Vampire Hex Mage and a Ruinous Path. You've also missed a land drop, which is good for us. I'm a fan of that. Why would you disallow one but not the other? Weird. What? You're not my dad! <laughs> <laughs> Red Cat, buddy. That was a little, a little too real, buddy. Oh, Prismatic Lens over Ashiok. Or both. 
Both, huh? Okay. Both of them. Oh, that's amazing. We can negative five. We can steal our Ashiok negative five and get to play. Oh, it's got to be equal to. All right, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> that's sad. Why not land first if you're going to be copying? We did play a land first, did we not? We did play a land first. That's how we wanted to keep two up in case they had a rune snag. So we had five mana. We paid three to copy. And then we... Oh, why not the land first? Bounce the land first? Um, I wasn't sure we were going to be... I wasn't sure if we were going to be copying because we hadn't drawn our card yet. So I wanted to draw my card and see if that was the best line. If not... Sure. Really? One mana? All right. Well. No. I do not like you, Sam. I am. Land? This is Karn, he does lots of things, yeah, he likes to take the cards in your hand away. There's that darn Day of Judgment effect. Those Day of Judgment boys are at it again. What the hell does that even mean? Grave Titan? Tomato. Wow. Wowie kazowie. What did you tap down? My watery grave? Okay. No, that makes me feel some type of way. Skin render, huh? I'm tempted to play Hostage Shaker and steal this. I think that's good. And if you play Night Hail Spectre, they're just going to tap it down. But this keeps them off double white. Nailed it. Hmm. That's pretty good, but it doesn't do much right now. They draw one, sure. Karn is a thick boy. Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Just to be clear. How big can, can we make our con?
I mean, they're playing blue, black, and white. Like, they have they have answers for Karn, 100%. I would not have tapped my black there, though, if, like, one of your... Oh, all right, we just win. Cool. If one of your answers is, like, Hero's Downfall or something, I would not be playing. All right, Inquisition always comes in against the blue-black decks. They had white, too, right? So it's basically just two Esper decks back-to-back, and that's pretty good. The Esper decks seem to be the best decks in this format. They have Tamiyo, which we can deal with fine, I guess. What did we see? We didn't actually see that much, right? We saw Tamiyo. We saw Charter Course. Uh, Negate. Disallow. Ashiok. Ashiok was problematic. So, again, it's a match that, like, mind control just sits in our hand. But then again, like, if they have a Grave Titan that they want to play late, I just don't want to not have it. So, we can take Whip out here. Oh, this hand is great. Oh, look, we both got, like, two card advantage things on turn one. Turn one Blood Moon, what's going on, buddy? I, uh, it has been a while since we played some mountains. I agree with you. Darn. Can I Vampire Hex Mage and take all the counters off this? Ha 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 ha. No, you can't. If they go Ashiok, we're just going to kill it. We're going to kill it immediately. No land? Brutal. This is not a creature as far as I'm concerned. That is a spell. Oh, man. If they miss another land drop, we are going to... Oof. This is brutal. We are definitely going to bounce their Riftwing Cloudscape. Or not bounce, but bounce all, bounce their, like, their Sheldock Isle off of this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can't even negate it, because it's like... The Shadows! Gr gr I, am, I am thrilled to hear it, buddy. I'm so glad to hear it. Should I give this to my opponent, just to be nice? No, I don't think so. We're going to go up to 11 cards, though. That's a lot. Oh, cancel, cancel. Inquisition here is a lot better. And also pretty brutal. They did have the negate. Oh, boy. Oh, your hand is gas, too. Discard um, Swamp. Woo! There is Kira Tamio Ruinous Path, Grave Titan, Soren Scarab God. Oh my god. Just a million hits. Gary! Oh, little Gary! Pretty sure we just play Hex Mage here and uh, I can attack. I don't care about this really. Oh, 
And next turn we can play one of the uh, friendly, friendly gentlemen. Since when did Fibblethip show in the corner? I don't know. I must be lost. What's up, Mindstab Thrall? Very aggressive. So I still have six of your seven cards. That is intriguing to me. Especially because you have no four drops other than the Ruinous Path. And we get to Karn next turn, which is pretty good. I would wager that this match is... Uh, oh, it's over. How they say. How they say in the French, le over. L'over. Le fin, as the Italians say in the, at the end of their movies. Pretty, 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 sure. pretty good. Totally fine. Pew! Senor Karn, scoop phase. That that draft was amazing. Six zero, and uh, <laughs> He's already dead. thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you later.